In this video, I'm going to show you how to trace um, a black and white image with a black background. Um, this might sound pretty simple, but if I show you the image, um, I've had a couple of people contact me and they're having issues extracting white from a colored background. And in this case, this is black and white with a black background. So um, there's a couple different ways you can do it depending on what you want. Um, if you want it transparent or if you want it filled with color. First, I'll show you this one. Um, if I do path trace bitmap uh, the normal way, let's do um, the default. Well, I'll just reset everything. Okay. Uh, I uncheck smooth and uncheck stack scans and check remove background. Okay. And if I trace it, this is what I end up with. And as you can see, you can see through that. And I want this image. I don't want that. So in this case, what you need to do is check the invert box, okay, and then trace it. And then it will extract the white from the background. And then you can change it, you know, whatever color you want it, okay? So that's that one. Um, now, this one is a little different because <clears throat> the lady wanted to keep the ring, the black ring, around here and get rid of the black background. Um, and also, the llama is black. So if I choose this and I do the normal um, trace bitmap, I'll actually raise this up to about 550. Um, then what I end up with is the white is transparent. So that's not going to work, right? Um, and if I select it and I choose invert and I trace it, what happens then is it turns black. Now, you know, I can go to my note editor and get rid of all this text because um, she was going to type it out separately, but my animal is black and the parts that are supposed to be black are white. So if I go ahead and I change it to white, I'll change it to gray so that you can see it on the screen. But then I end up with white. Um, uh, nose and the parts that are supposed to be black are white and they're transparent you can see through them okay so that wasn't working for her so let me select these and get rid of them what i did was i took this image and i traced it um as the default <clears throat> and then what i did was i took a circle and I placed it over top of the image, including the black circle, okay? But not to get any of the black background. So let me zoom in here just a second. Okay. And then I select all of them. Let me close this out. We don't need this anymore. <clears throat> So I choose them both and I go to path intersection. Okay, now that gives me what I need except it's transparent. So in that case, I have to go to my paint bucket and I have to fill it with color. And I'll choose a gray so that you can see it on screen. And if I hold shift, um, it's going to fill everything in because as you can see, I have broken paths. All right, so the first thing I need to do is go back. Let me delete this. Go back to my image. Make sure it says image down here. Do a path trace bitmap again, and let's raise this up to about 600 and see if that's any better. And now you can see it's closed. 
yes, it distorts the mouth and stuff, but you can always fix that um, with the note editor. All right. So now I'll place my circle over top. <clears throat> And I will select both and do path intersection. Okay, so now I have this. Now I'll go to my paint bucket. And I'll choose a light gray so you can see it on screen, but I have to click it first. Okay, now this needs to be filled in. This needs to be filled in, but I'll show you how to fix that. Um, so I'll select this. And I'll go to Path, Break Apart, Path Union, and I'll lower that to the bottom. And as you can see, it's still not, um, not closing that off. So I'll take this off to the side, and I will take my Bezier pen, and I'll close these gaps. Left click, double left click. Double left click, left click, double left click. And now I can grab these and I can bend them out. I can move my nodes. <clears throat> left click to select on it. Or left click to select it so you can move it. Okay, now those need to be turned into paths. So I'll select those three. I have three objects selected, and I'll go to path, stroke to path, because when you use the Bezier pen, it needs to be stroke to path, not object to path, okay? So just so you know that, all right? Now I'll hold shift and select the gray part, and I'll do path union, okay? Then I can go path break apart, path union. All right, now I have, well, I didn't close this one off. So let's go back and close it off. And I'll just do stroke to path. I will hold shift and select them both. Path union, path break apart, path union. Now I have a solid image to go behind this outline, okay? Now, it may not fit perfect. You may see gaps. Um, so what you can do is hit Control-0. You can also choose your note editor, and you can stretch these out to fill in the white gaps, okay? And control zero is um, an outset, and you can change your outset default if it's um, too much, if you just hit it one time by going to behavior and steps, inset outset, I have mine at a half a pixel. You can change this to whatever you want. I believe the default is two or three, I don't remember. Um, okay, so that's that part. Then I also wanna fill in the foam for the beer. So I'll go back to my paint bucket and I'll fill in the foam. I'll hold shift so that those two pieces are one layer and I'm going to Hold shift and uh, click on this X to get rid of the stroke because I don't know if you saw that or not, but it did have a stroke. I'm also going to select this one and I'm going to turn off the stroke. Okay, you don't want a stroke because what will happen is it will, um, let me go ahead and add a stroke to that. Uh, it will cut around the piece and then it will cut around the stroke. So you'll have a double cut. You don't want that. 
for your layers. So always make sure that your stroke is off, okay? And then I can move that to the back. I can move this to the back. And then if you want a color for um, the inside of the circle, um, you do the same thing with the paint bucket. And I'll choose yellow. And I'll hold my shift key. Go to my fill and stroke because my opacity is not 100%. You want to make sure your opacity is 100% on everything. Um, before you save it, okay? Now, if I take this yellow part and I move it, look, I don't have a full piece. So again, take your Bezier pen, click here, double click here, go to your node editor, the right under your selection arrow, zoom in and drag this out. Move this down here, move this over here. And these handles, make sure that you have, well, I always have all three of these highlighted. Um, when you're in your note editor, it's the last three, okay? Now, once that's done, I can go to path, stroke to path, select it, hold the shift key, select the yellow, um, path union, and then I can do path break apart and path union and then go back to my node editor because I'm going to have some extra nodes that I can get rid of here. Okay. And then just drag this out to it looks like a decent circle. Once you put it behind here, you can, you can zoom in and fix it. Go back to your node editor and just stretch these out. I don't know if you know you would want a background, but this is how you get it if you do. So I thought I would show you while while I was here. Select it and move it to the bottom. So that's how you can um, extract and make layers. Now I have a black layer, a yellow layer, and what what will be a white layer. selected the wrong one. There we go. Now I actually want my foam and hold shift and alt and click on um, the llama which gives me the white color again and do path union because I want those on one layer. Well of course you can't see it but there it is. Okay now I'll put it back and I'll use this icon here to lower selection to the bottom. And then I'll use this one to raise selection one step so that it's between the black and the yellow. Okay. Um, you know, you can fill this in if you want. You can go to your note editor and you can get rid of those if you want. Just click on the beer sign and just delete them. I'm doing a little more than necessary here, but I just wanted to show you that it can be done. Now, when you get something like this, if you don't take care of this node right here, if you don't either hold control and click on these circles to retract this back in to the node, it's going to cut a line. Okay, that's called a stray node. So make sure um, if you have that, you either select that node and delete it, or you go and find the end of it and put your cursor there till it's red and uh, hold control and click on it. Okay, so that's how you can extract this um, black and white from this these kinds of images. So I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below, or um, a lot of you know how to get a hold of me otherwise. So thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Thanks.